Hello, hello. We are now live. And yes, welcome, welcome to our live chat. And as you sign in, I would like to know where you're signing in from, where you're connecting with us from. Thank you so much for bearing with us. Let me take off my glasses. And it is Sunday. Sunday is when we do our live chat. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Shola and I own the channel called Discovery Natural. Discovery Natural is where you can find natural hair care for yourself and for your kids. I hope you can see me clearly. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so yeah, so we are starting off this live chat uh, a little bit late, but it's okay. It's better to start off late than never. Um, thank you for joining us. We have one of our moderators helping us out on this live chat and I want to welcome uh, Calls and Glory. If you don't know, she does also YouTube videos for natural hair care. She has a natural hair chat as um, also a blog, Calls and Glory. So please do check her out there. So today we are mainly talking, I want to say hi to everyone first. Okay, hi, and we've gotten out of the way. Okay, so today we are talking about creating a moisture and protein balance hair routine. So let me say hello all the way from London. Thank you, thank you, and yeah. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so do any of you know what it means to have your hair moisturize that's a no given everybody knows <laughs> everybody knows you want your hair to be moisturized moisturized hair is hair that doesn't feel dry moisturized hair is hair that doesn't um break okay but you also with the hair that is moisturized you also want to make sure that your hair contains um is is using protein infused products if you only use moisturized products, it is possible to have problems versus also if you only use products that contain protein, it is also likely you have some kind of problems. And we'll get into that as the live chat continues. So let me say something. Having a moisture protein balance routine, people struggle with it and they feel that this can cause a lot of headache trying to figure out that oh does this product have protein does this product have uh, moisture or whatever but i feel that if you have a hair routine where at least you balance off with protein treatment once a month at least you are good to go if your hair is not damaged um if your hair is not constantly breaking i know breakage is different from shedding you are good to go so but you can take it one step further and taking it one step further is what I'm talking about today in terms of when it comes to moisturizing your hair, there's a routine you can follow to ensure moisture protein balance. If you are not doing the regular protein treatments and um, all that jazz. So what you can do is this, and I have my products here in my usual bag that I bring here. This is my anywhere care bag. And it contains all my products so that I can carry it everywhere I go to. Um, so what you can do is this. You can decide that you will today, let's say this is the first good. This is the first weekend of the month. So you can decide that every first weekend of the month, you're going to be using deep conditioners that contain just moisture infused products. So you want to look for deep conditioners that don't contain protein. So for example, this is the Obia Natural, let me see if you can, this is the Obia Natural Babasu Deep Conditioner. This conditioner is vegan, it contains no protein, it also contains, let's bring out the glasses, it also contains no sulfates, no mineral oil, no synthetic color, no drying alcohol, no parabens, no DEA. It only contains moisturizing pro products. You can also see here, it says that immerse your curls and kinks in this deeply penetrating, fortifying, protein-free treatment. This is a protein-free conditioner 
protein fee free deep conditioner so you can use this product and if you want to know where i got this this is from obnatural.com if you do want to find this i think they sell it at target but they also sell it online at obnatural.com and you can use the code discovery natural to find this so if you guys ever want to use the code discovery natural to get discounts when you buy this so that's a protein free conditioner there are other protein free condition conditioners that i love and that i use another one will be the usual kadima i use kadima products all the time kadima organics beauty products it contains cocoa and mango butter it also contains i'm looking at the ingredients it contains honey it contains molasses and jojoba oil no protein in there this is purely purely moisturizing so um and you can get this at kadima obp.com so that's where you get it from uh so let's let's continue this i will answer questions after we finish our regular topic for those that don't know anyone new here that's what we do other things that you can find this one also is a protein quick deep conditioner this is the aussie moist uh this contains water it does contain other stuff it's not purely natural the ones that i showed you right here before these two they are purely natural so they are all protein free this one has other stuff in it silicones and stuff but you can easily find it this is also a moisturizer now when it comes to protein so you can say this week um weekend i'm gonna wash my hair i'm gonna use a protein deep conditioner you can use those or you can go to i think it's naturallycurly.com or something like that and do a search or go on google and do a search for protein free deep conditioners and use those or you can even make your own i like making mine when i run out of these products i will take banana honey castor oil mix it together and that will be my moisturizing deep conditioner so if you decide that you're going to use a moisturizing deep conditioner this weekend, then the following weekend, you can say you want to use a protein conditioner. Protein conditioners that are there that I'm aware of and that I've used will be Afuji uh, 2 Minute. Um, there's an Afuji 2 um, Step. But that is very strong. I will say if your hair is really damaged, then you want to use that one. But if your hair is not so damaged, stick with the Afoji two-minute um, treatment. Uh, then, or reconstructive, it's called reconstructive conditioner. You can also use something such as this. This is the Jamaican mango and lime protein conditioner. It's nearly done. This is the ones that we grab onto. It's quick and easy. We also like the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil, the treatment mask for us, we use it as a protein, light protein conditioner. So you can use any light protein conditioners. So that's the second week. Now the third week, you do the same thing again, use your moisturizing conditioners. And then the last week of the month, the fourth week end of the month, you use your protein. So that's how you can do a back to back to back a uh, balanced moisture and protein treatment now let's say that you want to do uh something in terms of when you moisturize your hair so when you moisturize your hair let's say you're going to infuse both moisturizing and protein in there what i've done in the past is that let's say i use a uh, moisturizing deep conditioner what i now do is that the leave-in i use i make sure the leave-in i use contains protein in it a lot of the shea moisture leave-ins do contain protein in it so we're good to go in that arena one thing you can also do and i see the question pop out that can you use rice water and i was gonna get in there you just jumped the gun <laughs> but thank you so much for reading my mind so one thing i also do is that when i and i do this all all the time so i'm doing a protein treatment and my last thing that I, do, I i'm doing moisturizing treatment most of the time and the last thing that i do is i do my rice water rinse so automatically i'm good to go i don't have to worry about oh i need another protein um in it but rice water will be considered for me a light protein treatment 
I'm putting that in quotes because rice water is um, is very light in terms of protein uh, treatments and stuff like that. If you do use what is known as wild rice, you get about 25 grams or so of, um, of protein uh, per cup, I would say. If you use, uh, I think brown rice also have more. I made a mistake in my video that I gave out, but I wrote something in the description area and also in the pinned comment about brown rice having more protein. I kind of made a mistake switching it around in the video, so I apologize for that. But yeah, so you can do that. So that is how you balance it off. So let's say that you have your uh, protein treatment the second week, then what you want to do is for the leave-in, you want to use a moisturizing cream, okay, or uh, moisturizing leave-in. So that is basically how you do a moisture protein balance routine. And I do hope you guys understand that and I do hope this helps. Let me know what products you use and uh, just comment below. Let me know what you use and uh, we'll get started on the original part of this question and answer live chat. So, okay, so I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone. I hope that little uh, intro uh, discussion helped you out. I want to say thank you to Cause and Glory once again for moderating this live chat. I really appreciate it. I, I don't know what I'll do without you helping me out. Um, my hair, she said my hair looks fluffy. Yes, my hair was bigger this morning, but of course it's rained and there's a lot of moisture in the hair and shrinkage, be it what it is, it has taken control, which I actually like it. I like my hair shrunken up like this uh yeah so if not it would just be all over my face and i really don't like that too much i'm almost thinking of cutting my hair but i'm like why should i cut my hair when god can do it for me by shrinking it up for me so i think he knew today um yeah the um hairstylist i go to i always tell people the hairstylist i go to uh you guys can go to him is a really really cool guy um g-o-d yeah so very very cool guy he, he, you don't have to go to him he'll do it for you <laughs> <laughs> so let's do that so i go to god really really wonderful guy and he does amazing amazing work see amazing instant shrinkage so i want to say hi to steppy 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 step from florida it's a cold temperature of 70 degrees yes and i also want to say hello to katrine for contacting us all the way from chicago kimberly hi living water hello angela hello and miss dimples welcome myra nice to see you and Doritha, thank you so much how are you doing miss empress the usual crew is here welcome and definitely all the way from h town where i am how is it going how is this wonderful weather we're having today i'm like are you gonna rain are you not gonna rain what's going on but we thank god that it's not snowing yes girl yeah uh let's just continue so what's your hairstylist ig my hairstylist he doesn't have an ig <laughs> yeah so god <laughs> yeah he does have an ig uh yeah she's so funny okay so dorita says so when you do a moisture protein uh following a moisturizing deep conditioner followed with a protein leave-in and when you do a protein deep conditioner follow with a moisturizing leave-in basically that's it basically that is what i did what i do and i have to i sometimes i don't do it all the time but most of the time i find that when i do alternate my moisture and protein like that my hair does really really well uh my hair just loves it my hair feels soft all the time and this is my hair i still yesterday i demonstrated on my facebook page discovery natural how i seal my ends and since i did that yesterday i only sealed my hands i didn't moisturize my whole hair i didn't moisturize my hair this will be day number three that i've not moisturized, moisturized my hair and it does is still doing really good i'm gonna wash my hair Probably tonight, I will be using a DIY protein treatment if somebody doesn't eat my avocado. I'm, I told my family, I'm like, guys, there's one avocado in the fridge. Please don't touch the avocado. It's for an experiment. They're like, for your hair? Yes. 
my hair as sweet avocado please don't touch the avocado because i'm waiting for it to be very soft because you want it avocado to be really ripe before you make the treatment um yeah okay so let's see if we have any more questions so if you have any questions about your natural hair about your whatever is going on with your hair comment below let me know but in the meantime if you are wondering uh what is coming up on Discovery Natural China? We have a lot of interesting things coming up. Pretty much, uh, my kids are going to pretty much be taking over some aspects of the video of the channel. Uh, starting, they've already started taking over. Um, I'm just a manager. I'm just the director. So uh, my youngest daughter, she has a video coming up showing how she's caring for her hair, and in addition, she also has a night routine. Cause she's pretty much been taking care of her hair doing night routine she's been wearing her hair in a twist out but i yesterday I had to put it in a style so she put it in a, we put it in a style and that was it so yeah but pretty much let me see if i have any more questions hi matty welcome welcome to the live chat you haven't missed much so let's um what are we talking about? What else are we talking about? Let me see if I missed any question. So Miss Empress says she's doing four uh, locks. I have not done four locks before. I just, me and protective styling is, I don't, I can't do long term, but I do want to put my hair in some protective style and not touch it for a while, but it's very difficult for me. I find that <laughs> No, I'm always doing something every weekend. I find that I like washing my hair every weekend, especially when I work out a lot. Then my scalp just like, you have to wash me. Okay, so Living Water says, when you use a moisturizing deep conditioner and then a protein leave-in, what kind of styler should you use? It really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it contains protein or not. No, it doesn't matter because the base of it all, you've done the moisture and the protein together. I find it doesn't matter. What matters is this. What matters is if you're using everything protein. So if you are doing a protein treatment, then you're using a protein, heavy protein, leave-in, then you're using a uh, moisturizer that is heavy on protein, then you're using a styler that is heavy on protein like like eco styler gel as a styler like a gel that is heavy on protein if you use all that during the week the characteristics that your hair will exhibit will be dry and brittle so if you are struggling with oh my hair is always dry oh my hair feels dry that is probably it okay um if you are using too much protein ingredient filled um, products you will, con you, ex you will have something called protein overload. So protein overload, your hair will feel dry, your hair will feel brittle. Now the reverse will happen uh, if you use something that contains moisturizing products. I have a video on Discovery Natural. You can find it by searching for Discovery Natural Overload. So that video will show you that if you use a product that contains a lot of moisture, your hair will feel gummy. You know that gummy feeling like you're touching your hair and it's just limp and just gummy and doesn't really do anything. And so when you run your hand through it, it like breaks easily. Or let's say that you take your hair and you stretch it like this. You see how I stretch my hair? If my hair doesn't bounce back and it stays all stretched out it doesn't bounce back then what's gonna happen is that you probably have what is called a loss of elasticity which could be because maybe you have too much moisture in your hair it could also be caused by if you have heat if you've used hidden products products with heat and stuff you know using heat in your hair you lose elasticity that way so that is one thing so Ms. Empress says, can I somehow moisturize my hair with four locks in? Now, this is the thing about four locks that um, I find four locks threading without gaps is similar. So four locks to me is like threading your hair without gaps. Now, if you have four locks, your hair, imagine this is your hair and you take a synthetic or uh, another material or something and you wind it around pretty much like wrapping your hair like a mommy a mommy you know mommy like egyptian mommy oh yeah so wrapping your hair 
the moisture will not be able to penetrate as much especially if you are like double wrapping it like some people will take their hair they will wrap it with a synthetic product then they'll wrap it with an, um, hair then they'll wrap it with another curly hair your hair could feel dry so i will say if that's the way you're doing it moisturize your hair do a protein treatment before just to strengthen your hair and don't wear that full locks for too long for real because your hair craves moisture and if you embalm it pretty much like wrap it with stuff it might i don't know that's why for me personally i won't say i'll never do full locks because i never know because i'm a hair blogger so who knows if I'll ever do it, but maybe I'll just do it just to test out the theory But that is the theory I have if I take my hair I know how my hair will be if I wrap it in something, but yeah, don't very good. Don't keep it too long so um miss dimple says I started using the TGIN butter cream and I really do like it. It keeps my hair moisturized but i find that it weighs my hair down any suggestion one thing you can do is if it's weighing your hair down reduce the amount that you put in your hair you can also reduce the amount of time you use it to moisturize your hair if you find that your hair um even despite the amount of time you use to moisturize it i will say when you apply it to your hair, instead of applying it, you can apply your leave-in. Then instead of applying the moisturizer throughout the length of your hair, use it as a sealant, okay? Use it as a sealant and use a sealant to the ends of your hair instead of the whole length of your hair. If you already have a leave-in moisturizer that is a bit lightweight, you can use that first and then just use a little bit of the TGIN butter cream because it is a butter but it's creamy consistency because that's water as the first ingredient So you just put that at the ends of your hair to just lock in that moisture So that's the way you can use it because I really don't want you to toss it um, I don't want you to toss it because it's very expensive <laughs> in my opinion unless you did a bogo or buy to get one free mm. And um, Mercier welcome and she says, what are some good protein conditioners? As I mentioned earlier, the ones that I've used, I've used Afoji two minutes. Those are good ones. Two steps, I've not used it before because the way to use it for me is very cumbersome. You gotta do this, you gotta do that, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've also used this one for my family. This is the Jamaican Mango and Lime. Um, I also use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Treatment Mask. Uh, some people use that as a moisturizing deep conditioner, but I find that it works. It has protein in it, so I find that for me, I use it as a light protein treatment. In addition, Mui Moisture, M-A-U-I Moisture, the Agave Hair Mask is also a good one you can use. So I hope that helps, me, helps you out. Um, okay. So I want Wanda, welcome. So Wanda says, have you ever used 100% glycerin on your hair to aid in moisture? Do you think it's good to use? I've used glycerin in the past. I think I used it about two years or two and a half years ago. Um, glycerin on my hair for me, it was just very heavy. I have low porosity hair. Um, it was just very heavy. I didn't use it so much what i did was it with, with it most of the time was to mix it with shea butter raw shea butter especially if my shea butter didn't have glycerin in it but living in a place like houston that is usually despite this weather we're having right now houston is usually very humid so what happens is that when i use glycerin in my hair it puffs out my hair so if i want big hair no definition i'll use products with glycerin in it but if i don't want that then i stay away from products that are heavy in glycerin i'll still use products that contain glycerin but i always make sure that the glycerin is not the first five ingredients i've not um used 100 percent glycerin since i finished my bottle of glycerin a couple of years ago so you can try using it um be mindful of the weather because the way or the season because the way glycerin works is that glycerin if you put in your hair when the atmosphere when it's like a humid weather what will happen is that the glycerin if it's humid out there and you put 
um, glycerin in your hair, the glycerin draws the moisture from the outside into your hair and it will poof up your hair. So if you are going for that defined wash and go and use glycerin products, yeah, it might not be so defined. So it all depends on the outcome you want. However, if you take the glycerin and you, you put in your hair when it's dry outside, so if the outside is dry, the glycerin will take the moisture from your hair, send it out. So your hair will feel more dry and brittle. That is why people say that when it's in the dry season, in the winter, stay away from glycerin because it might make your hair more drier. But you can always mix glycerin with all sorts of stuff to kind of intensify it and stuff or reduce the um, effect. So, yeah. Okay. Hi, Latrice. How are you? So, Miss Empress says, before installing our full locks, she did a bentonite clay and a deep conditioning moisturizer afterwards. Was that bad or good? That was good. Um, I would have, personally, I would have, after the bentonite clay treatment, I would have done a protein treatment to strengthen my hair and then followed up with a deep conditioning. Whenever I put my hair in a protective style for a long amount of time, I like to strengthen it with protein treatment and then do a deep conditioning. But it is too late right now because you are currently installing the full locks. So what I'll suggest is that when you take down your hair, um, do a protein treatment after you've taken it down and then do a moisturizing treatment with that also. And that would help you out. If you want to know how to take care of your hair when you do a protein treatment, look in Discovery Natural channel. I have a playlist called Protein Treatment that tells you what to do before you do a protein treatment, what to do during the time that you have a protein treatment, like how to moisturize your hair, how to care for it, and also what you do after you do a protein treatment. I suggest you take a look at Discovery Natural China. All the playlists, they're broken out into like chapters <laughs> or segments, and you can use them to help you with your hair care. So, uh, yeah, and I see Catherine says that she has glycerin to her deep conditioners when she makes henna gloss. And she also adds a little bit to her DIY African black soap shampoo. And she has never used it straight on. So, yeah. Yeah. So, personally, I, yeah, it's, it's always for me, I always have issues if I use it straight on. It's like also sticky and ugh, I don't know. But that is that is pretty much it. Glycerin isn't isn't bad, depending on how you use it. I that's what I think personally. So, yeah. Okay. So we are. Let's see. Maddie said, "Okay, I've never done a protein treatment because I'm low prostate and I'm scared that my hair will react different." <laughs> I'm low porosity. Well, I'm low porosity medium, so I'm normal low porosity medium. So I think that's why for me, I don't have issues with protein. I would say try it out. However, this is me. I'm one of those people that say if something is not broke, there's no need to do anything with it. But in the other class of um, of reasoning, I would say. You never know what you're missing until you try it out. You know that kind of thing? It's like, if I've never eaten a tuna sandwich before, I don't really know what I'm missing. I don't really know. But what if I eat tuna sandwich and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. Where have you been all my life? You know that kind of thing? But once again, I'm like, if your hair is doing well and you're not having any issues, then fine. But if curiosity killed the cat, the cat meow <laughs> so if curiosity killed the cat we wonder what will happen if the cat and curiosity never met hmm. yeah so <laughs> i don't know okay let's continue um what is something yeah let me tell you guys something that i did this last week so this last week i collaborated with a young lady called wadia Barnes, and she i'm gonna set up on my phone and she and i we did this collab with flexi rods have you do you guys see that video i did flexi rods in my hair and she did perm rods in her hair i have 
I'm a big fan of flexi rods because I feel like flexi rods elongates your hair. And I love the whole theory of a collaboration where you know some collaboration they'll, they'll do the whole entire video like i'll show you how i did flexi rod and i'll show you the result and i'll say go over to our channel and watch what she did on her hair i feel that that one those kind of collaboration i'll tell you that usually to be honest with you 40 times out of 100 times i don't go over <laughs> just to being honest i don't go i just watch the channel that i normally watch but i really wanted you all to help this young lady out um she has twin boys and I, she's brilliant she's very honest she, what you see is what you get so if you've never checked that at china what dear binds just go to my latest video watch my latest video on perm rods versus flexi rods and then go and see the result of all what my hair turned out i'm not going to tell you what happened something drastic happened to my hair yeah and i was just i was not expecting it to happen this was after i spent all night sleeping in those flexi rods you don't want to sleep in flexi rods so i'm gonna tell you do not sleep in flexi rods because they hurt Flexi rods hurt, but I was able to do like a comeback and come back and just kind of fix it. Even though my daughter was like, mommy, what happened to your hair? She's like, it's pretty, but what is that? And I'm like, girl, you didn't see that. <laughs> you didn't see that. But anyway, overall it turned out well. So um, let me show you. I'm gonna, just gonna show you a little bit in case you've not seen that video. I'm gonna go. This is my other phone, so it's a little bit dingy and ugh, I don't know. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the, so this is, this is the video right here that I'm talking about. Yeah, so yeah, this is my daughter's video that is gonna come out soon. But this is the video, um, yeah. Right I have been doing it in collaborating with Waldir Bynes China she's a young lady she does makeup i need to get makeup tips from her and she does hair tutorials she also does um ex different kind of styles that i go wow i want to try that style she also reviews products so please check her out she has very interesting content and i'm so happy to collaborate with her this collaboration is different from any other collaboration you have seen because part of our video is in this channel and you have to go over to our channel to see the end result of what this style turns out to be i started off with hair that was stretched using curl formers my favorite way to stretch my hair lately and i put my hair into four parts and i'm just spraying it with some green tea which is good for shedding and using my fingers to just work that liquid in I'll be using the Shea Moisture Red Palm Oil and Cocoa Butter Curl Stretch Pudding. So just take a little bit of that, not too much because you don't want product build up. And start off with putting it on the ends of your hair and walk through the... Okay, so that is a intro section. <laughs> so if you guys go and you <laughs> watch <laughs> the video, the end result on Wardia's channel, and I'm going to show you the end results of Wadia's channel. Let me find it for you. So this is, let me see. This is Wadia's video. Okay. The end result of it. I'll Hi, show you. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, That's Wadia. Her. In today's video, it's going to be a little different. It is in collaboration with Discovering Natural. I will leave her video down in my description box. So her video is basically show what she did and also what i did to set up our hair my hair is super duper soft my okay. scalp is moisturized okay so you keep on watching that on well, and then thank you, you so much my dear and this so is this on our channel where we left off this is my hair in flexi rods so it's finally time to do the results for this and i had to sleep in it and it wasn't fun so i'm gonna start okay so when you watch it on a channel 
after not sleeping i think i only slept for two hours or whatever my eye you guys can see you see how i look right now this is my face when i've slept well no bags no nothing if you see what my face looks like right there you already see i have bags and stuff and it's so nice look at look at those clothes look at that check that out see omg those curls were perfect right yeah perfect good girl perfect. this is my hair after i took it out okay i'm gonna let you guys go watch that so it was perfect but what happened was ah something that drastic but anyway i'll let you watch it i'm not gonna so yeah so maddie i'm maddie how are you i had to just go there Hi, Maddie, and thank you, you guys. Cause and Glory is putting out the link for you. Save those links so that you can go watch both videos and support my girl, Wadia. She's such a sweetheart. Ah, to be. <laughs> and she's she's wonderful. Okay, so Maddie Shadi says, do you prefer DIY products or stored products for little girls' hair? Personally, if your child has a lot of allergies and stuff, I'll say go with DIY then you are you don't have to battle with does this work does this not work but if you're a mother that you are very busy always busy 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 look for products that has more of natural products natural ingredients versus non-natural for your kids hair. because doing diy it's it's not it's you can easily make it but sometimes it can be time consuming so look at your lifestyle if your lifestyle gives leeway to making products all the time go for it so yeah so i hope that answers your question hi talony you bake cookies you say hi to them hi okay so we're talking about thank you, you can get from me. okay thank you uh latrice says have you ever tried the fenugreek fenugreek hair oil or have you heard good things about it i've never tried it but i know that um naturally if tv ife tv she does a lot of that she's actually doing a challenge i think for the whole year where she's using only diy products so you can check her out that's naturally ife tv uh i've not used fenugreek oil before why haven't i used it before i don't know i don't know i'm always when it comes to oils and stuff the smell even though i know how to you know when products smell how to hide the smell um there are different ways you can do but I don't know. I've not just things that I'm using right now work for me. And sometimes when things that I'm using right now work for me and I'm still testing like the Shibe, I'm still using Shibe. The end of this month will be the end of my three months of using Shibe in my hair. You can't really see because you can't really see it because I've been using it now as a deep conditioning. And um, then I put it at the ends of my hair to seal in the moisture uh i've not been running it through the length of my hair just because when i deep condition my hair and i rinse with my rice water rinse my shibe is still on my hair like i rinse it off but i don't fully rinse off all the shibe okay i don't know if i can explain that but is that some of the shibe still stays in my hair so i don't want to overload too much on my hair i have to be very careful what I put in my hair, especially when I'm testing things out. Um, some other things that I'm going to be testing out this year, red palm oil, I'm going to be testing that out. Now, that one is a struggle because I love cooking in red palm oil. And red palm oil is not cheap. Um, my husband doesn't know I'm going to be using red palm oil in my hair. But anyway, it's not cheap. So if I use it, I'm only going to be using it as a pre-pool and sparingly. So I have to find a way to work that in. And red palm oil stains. So I I don't know how I'll use it and not stain my tub, my tub or shower area. So that I'm still thinking about it. I'm still iffy about if I'm gonna use it or not because I don't like things staining. Or my bathtub, you know, will the palm oil stain your clothes? See, that's the thing, um, cause and glory. I don't I just don't know. 
Okay, so Masia says, where do I purchase my African trade from? I get my African trade from Nigeria. <laughs> I have like boxes, like bags, you know, like a container of it. Uh, you can use weave trade. Weave trade works fine. You can also use yarn. Uh, my daughter did a video on how to use yarn in your hair. Yarn can be a bit drying, so can African trading. I like using rubber trading. If you go on amazon.com slash shop slash discover natural, you can actually use it. You only add up, yeah, see? Palm oil for cooking. I don't know. I use palm oil to cook my beans, which I have a recipe on DN Vlogs Life. All my cooking recipe is on DN Vlogs Life. So, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see if anybody else has questions because I know I really want people to have a nice Sunday today. So if we do have any pressing questions, I think we're going to sign off a little bit early today. But if you have a question and I'm not doing a live chat, you don't have to wait until I do a live chat to ask me questions. You can always go to our Facebook page, Discovery Natural, to ask me questions. And you can always contact, it, contact me on Instagram or even send me a message. Uh, are you excited about the Nigerian bobsled team? Yes, yes, yes. Go girls. I'm really excited for them. I think this will be the only year that I'll watch Winter Olympics. Um, I'm just like, my daughters are very excited for them. I, I just, I'm just praying that something happens and they win. And it's like, yay, finally. <laughs> but um, they are charming. Oh, they're such sweet. They're really, really charming. But, um, yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this live chat thank you what am i doing now i have to go my daughter she's my youngest daughter she's doing a morning routine and we have to go and go to the studio which is upstairs and we have to go and record a voiceover this will be the first time she's doing a voiceover so i guess for the next one and a half hours we're going to be recording a voiceover for our video and that should be fun and uh yeah so that's pretty much it and i'm gonna be editing videos later on tonight um after i spend time with the family so well anyway <laughs> that's it. it's really fun. i mean i enjoyed the video i when i was editing editing and i was like oh she did good so hi deandre hello we're about to leave girl we're about to leave but you can always watch the replay. So I want to say thanks again, Cause and Glory, for helping us with moderating this live chat. It was a very nice, peaceful live chat with no issues. I want to say have a wonderful week, everyone. And remember this week, remember to smile, 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 smile. <laughs> and I'm going to give you one to go. So smile and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay. Take care of yourself. Take care. Bye.